All right, let's get started here. Okay, well, our first song is going to be I Can Hew. This is a song that I learned because I'm a Morris dancer. Morris dancing is a really old English traditional dance where you wear bells on your legs and you bang sticks together or where you wave hankies around. And um, yeah, it's, it predates it's Shakespeare. It? Yeah. <laughs> and um, so I'm part of um, Seabright Morris and Sword, a Morris troupe that's here in Santa Cruz. And um, I Can Hew is about a coal miner. You'll hear me call myself a collier lad. Well, a collier is a coal miner. And this collier is boasting about how well he can hew the coal, how well he can um, cut the coal out of the mine. And um, there's also a first verse about St. Monday's Day. And St. Monday's Day was the tradition of absenteeism on a Monday because uh, people often got paid on Friday or Saturday and they had they still had money left over from the weekend, so why go to work? And you still had money and you still had food, so why do you, you don't need to go to the works canteen at work. So um, maybe some people will be inspired to take a St. Monday's Day tomorrow because of this song. Does that have anything to do with a Morris chair? I'm just curious. <laughs> <laughs> I actually don't know what a Morris chair is. I don't know either. What is that? It's a Nothing. dancing chair. Maybe Morris I'm going to have no, to look it's this a, up. Just a, it's a kind of <laughs> <laughs> It's a kind of chair. I'm just, it, it came to my mind when you said Morris dancing and Morris chair. Yeah. So usually during Morris the Morris the cat. <laughs> <laughs> we'd be clashing sticks together, which provides some of the rhythm. And, and uh, you only had those sort of twigs he was clashing. Yeah, at. that was part of sort of... <laughs> So when you do when you're at, on a stage show, you use a little different instrumentation. Is actually with my Morris troupe, we we really only have um, a flute player right now. We're kind of we're we need some more musicians. But um, maybe someday Sharmas will play with my Morris troupe. We'd have to play a little bit slower because my the dancers really can't dance that fast. What is, what is Morris dancing? Um, it's a traditional English dance um, where you wear bells on.
on your legs and either you clash sticks together or you wave hankies about and it's a little bit like square dancing usually there are six people but sometimes there are four right now in Seabright Morris we have three people so <laughs> we're having to make up some dances <laughs> it's not the biggest group around no not right now <laughs> all right well let's move on to this next song because I know we have a time limit here they got a special song they sure. sing. this is called Annan Waters and the Annan River is in the southwest of Scotland and it's it's got this one stretch that's in this deep gorge, this deep rocky gorge, and it's sort of this mythological figure that separates lovers and drowns people that are trying to swim across to their lovers, so that's, that's kind of the background of this song. Oh, and waters wondrous and my love and his wondrous body. And I'm loath that she should wet her feet, because I love her best of any. Go settle for me the bonny gray mare. Go saddle her and make her ready For I must cross the stream tonight Or never more I'll see my lady And he's ridden over field and fen O'er moor and moss and many's the mire but the spurs of steel were sore to bite Sparks from the mare's hooves flew like fire Oh, the mare flew over moor and moss And when she reached the Annan waters She couldn't have ridden a furlong more Had a thousand whips been laid upon her and woe betide you, and waters By night you are a gloomy river And over you I'll build a bridge That never more true love can sever Oh, boatman, put off your boat Put off your boat for gold and money for I must cross the stream tonight Or nevermore I'll see my lady He's ridden over field and fen O'er moor and moss and many's the mire But the river was deep and strength did fail Now nevermore he'll see his lady Oh, woe betide the willow wand And woe betide the brush and briar For you broke beneath my true love's hand When strength did fail and limbs did tire And woe betide you, and waters by night you are a gloomy river And over you I'll build a bridge That never more true love can sever That never more true love can sever Charmus here on Pig Radio, uh, September 27th at the Trout Farm. That's right, 8.30 to 11, the Trout Farm in Felton. And any other gigs you want to mention? We have a trio gig coming up on Tuesday, the 23rd at Discretion Brewing, 6 to 8 in Capitola. Okay, so there's a couple of gigs. And website? Charmusband.com. C-H-A-R-M-A-S, that means? It means charmed in Gaelic. Ah, okay, cool. And do you want to introduce all these Gaelic charmers? Sure, sure. <laughs> we have we have Colleen Duncan over here on female vocal. Hello. Hello. All right. We've got um, we've got Josh Riley playing guitar and singing backup vocal. Hey, Josh. Hi. 
we got, got Matt Johnson. Oh, I didn't even see you, Matt. <laughs> you <were laughs> that tends to happen at gigs, too. <laughs> Matt Johnson is hey, back Matt. here. He's playing guitar and playing Penny Whistle. We've got Russ Bennett on percussion and backup vocals. Hey, Russ. Hello, how are you? Elise McGregor Farrell playing fiddle, and she's also our band leader. All right. And my name is Aaron Clegg. I play flutes and I, and I sing also. All right, now you sent me the promo, and I, I only asked you to come here for one reason. And where's the goddamn bagpipes? Oh. <laughs> There's not a bagpipe in sight here. You don't oh, want boy. to hear them in this room. Oh, we bagpipes. do. You're going to have to put a mic outside, and really we can do the bagpipes. No, we want to do it in here. We have way too many listeners, and we have to clear the field every Next now and then. Next time, I'll so. play them outside the door. All right. Come in or something. Perfect, perfect. Now, I, we've got about eight minutes. Yeah. And I know you have some song you want to do, and I just want you to know the timing now. Got it. Okay, okay. Well, so whatever started. you want to do. Okay, well, our next song is called Col Cannon. Col Cannon is a traditional Irish dish made with uh, mashed potatoes and greens and scallions and butter and things like that. And um, this is a song about nostalgia, basically, about an Irish childhood. Okay. <laughs> Well, did you ever make cold cannon made with love and pickled cream? Where the greens and scallions mingle like a picture in the dream. Did you ever make a hole on top to hold the melted clay? With a creamy flavor butter that our mothers used to make. Oh, you did, so you did, so did he, and so did I. And well, the more I think about it, sure, the nearer I'm to cry. Oh, weren't them the happy days when troubles we knew not? And our mothers made for cannonade in the little skillet pot. Well, did you ever take potato cake and box it to the school? To dawn beneath your rocks or with your books, your slate and wool. And when teacher wasn't looking, sure it break the type you take. Of the creamy flavor, softly melting sweet potato cake. Oh, weren't them the happy days when troubles we knew not And our mothers made cold cannon in the little skillet pot Well, did you ever go a courtin' boys when the evening sun went down And the moon began to peep in from behind the heather down And you wandered down the boring where the floor and pond were seen And you whispered love and praises to your own dear sweet Colleen Oh, you did, so you did, so did he Sure, the nearer rhyme to cry. Oh, were it them the happy days when troubles we knew not, and our mothers made cold cannon in the little skillet pot. Oh, you did, so you did, so did he, and so did I. And the more I think about it, sure, the nearer rhyme to cry. Oh, were it them the happy days when troubles we knew not, and our mothers made cold cannon in the little skillet pot.
us here on the pig 27th of september at the trout farm and this is going to be their last tune for us right now all right yes so i've been reading up on on this tune trying to find out what the origin of it is it's called lukey's boat both nova scotia and newfoundland claim it and my my personal belief after doing a lot of reading on mudcat.org a great place to go read up on the history of songs is that it actually was probably a traditional song that got shared between both and probably took two different development paths and there's always some kind of a folklore that comes up around where the song came from it's pr probably usually not true <laughs> so, anyway it's a, it's a catchy little song called Lucy's Boat day great thank thanks you thanks very much it's charmus september 27th at the trout farm and give that website out charmusband.com all right thank you guys all thank you very much thank you so all much all right we're going to take a break and we'll be back with the corzines right here on kp
Hey, we'd love to have you at our next show. Like us on Facebook and come check out our website. Charmasband.com. C-H-A-R-N-A-S-B-A-N-D.com. Yeah. All right. Oh, nice one. Yeah. I'll go right now. Charmas says, thank you, K-Pig. 107.5.